How's it going, everyone? This is Trainer Connor, and I have for you today some Wi Fi battle videos from the Battle Spot feature. I've done these battles before, I haven't done this in like forever, so I feel like it's time to get back to that grind. Uh, what you're going to see are three on three matches. Uh, three on three battles are really short. But I'm actually going to be posting more than one battle video in this video that you're watching. So it's a high drag on hanger. Awesome. If you enjoy this Wi-Fi battle or these Wi-Fi battles, actually, hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, first up here, we have a choice Scarf Electrifier. I am using some powerful Pokemon in this battle, in these battles. And um, choice Scarf Electrifier is really good. I've never used a choice Scarf on it before. I definitely like Electrifier as a lead off. Most of the time, I use Electrifier as a form of a focus sash or an expert belt. Um, Choice Scarf allows me to just use one move and keep using it over and over. But we just don't do enough damage to this Torterra here as I went for an Ice Punch earlier. And expecting a, a Earthquake, we go into Calflame, who just doesn't take any damage because I dodge it, obviously. Now, just, I don't know what it is, but you cannot, you just can't switch in a Pokemon when there's a Talon Flame on the battlefield. I'm sorry, but just bringing in Greninja like that, that just didn't serve any purpose there other than getting a kill on my side there. So, uh, I mean, Talon Flame, Talon Flame is really hard to, like, deal with him battle spot singles. If you have the right Pokemon for it, then you're good. Uh, but this Infernip, though, is showing some spirit here. He will not give up on my Talonflame. He goes for Fake Out, and then he has a Focus Sash to live. My Brave Bird, take all that recoil damage, and he's going to finish me off with a close combat. So that's a way of handling Talonflame. Other Pokemon like Rock type, Pokemon like to, you know, scare away Talonflame, but when you switch in a Pokemon like that, like what my, my opponent did earlier, it's just not happening. You, you cannot live with Brave Bird. Uh, so this in front of goes for another Fake Out. I'm not really sure why, because Fake Out only works out once. Let's switch out and go back in. Uh, we're going to go for a full switch and go into our final Pokemon there, which is Mega Alakazam who is going to go Mega here shortly. And my opponent still has his Torterra from the beginning. So here's Mega Alakazam. I trace his overgrow ability there, which will not help me out here. Uh, if I had Energy Ball, that would work. But I don't have Energy Ball on this set. I go for Psychic and I don't take him out. I'm a little confused by that because Torterra was... I feel like Torterra is more of a physical wall, but I use a special attacking move. Not sure what's up with that. And, of course, Alakazam's defense is not very good, so we're going to lose our Mega Alakazam there. But that's okay, we're going to go back into our choice Scarf Electivire, go with a flamethrower this time, and finish off Torterra. And that's the first battle there. But don't go anywhere because we got another one coming up here. This time we're facing off against Ashley. In addition to having Mega Alakazam, I'm going to try out Mega Salamence as well. So, this should be fun. We're going to keep using Electivire because Electivire is awesome. I really like Electivire as a lead. Now, Ashley here. Ashley has a shiny Greninja and a... Uh, I'm going to go for a full switch here. I was hoping that that would kill, but that didn't. So, I, should, I really should have stayed in and went for a Thunderbolt. But that's okay. We have Venusaur this time. Venusaur can take a Dark Pulse. But, unfortunately for me, I don't think that Venusaur can take an Ice Beam. Because, I mean... If it is a Mega Venusaur, which I don't have in this battle, I might be able to take an Ice Beam. I'm not completely sure at that range. But regular Venusaur, he cannot take a 
ice beam from that range. But that's okay, he secured a double gown for us, which are definitely the type of gowns that you would appreciate. And I appreciate double gowns. On the double gown, we're going to try out our Salamence here, Mega Salamence, here shortly, as my opponent actually has a Mega Alakazam as well. So, we're going to be showing off our Megas here. Mega Alakazam uh, is going to try to animate first off, which is a little bit annoying because considering that I have Incanimate as well, if I had Moxie, that would have been a much better situation as an ability here because my attack is lower from the choice ability that Mega Alakazam has and it's just going to kind of bite me. But that does not matter because he gets a critical hit on the Psychic, so all that for nothing. Uh, but we lose our Salamence, so we're going to make up for that here shortly. I promise. So, uh, with Mega Salamence out in one shot, that is actually a good game because I still have Choice Scarf. Electivire, I do have Ice Punch, which actually does good amounts of damage to the Talon Flame here. Unfortunately for me, her Talon Flame is carrying Swords Dance and Roost. So, I mean, if I keep going for the Ice Punch, the Ice Punches, I might be able to get the 10% or 20% actually, I'm not really sure, but it's, it's a low chance of getting the Freeze. And we actually do get that Freeze right here. But, what you're going to see is... The Flare Blitz is going to help it get out of the freeze. I, I just, I don't know. It, that didn't work out too well for my Electivire. And you know what? We're going to go down. And Talonflame goes down as well. So we get another double down. But that is my last Pokemon. So we lose to Ashley. But that's okay. My last match for you guys is going to be against Leo here. We're going to give... Our Mega Salamence another shot here because it worked out really well the other time, not. It. So here we go, Mega Salamence against a Kyranitar. Really good, really good Pokemon lead here because we get the Incinerate off, and most Kyranitar are physically based. So going with that Incinerate is going to help us out here. I go with the Mega Evolution here. Mega Salamence has Outrage, Earthquake, Fire Blast, and Roost in this battle, I think. I'm not completely sure, but that's the majority of the set. And Mega Chimeratar. Good stuff. Really powerful Pokemon going at it. I go for Earthquake on the Chimeratar. He goes for Stone Edge, and I'm not too scared of that because... Upon Mega Evolving, Mega Salamence has a great boost of physical defense power, and he's able to take that Stone Edge really well. And we're able to go with another, a secondary Earthquake, and we're going to take care of Mega Terracar. So, that's good and all, but unfortunately for me, I immediately know that this Mega Class is going to go for a Bullet Punch. It is priority, but just the the defense of Mega Salamence is just coming through. I go for Fire Blast, and I come out real short there again. I keep going really short on the damage rolls. It's really sad. And so this level 48 Mega Class is going to take care of my level 50 uh, Salamence, which is a little bit unfortunate, but that's okay. Uh, I know Teleflame is going to come in here and just Go with another for a blitz, why not? We can just take care of the Mega Cross from there and uh, not take that much recoil. And uh, I believe that my opponent's last Pokemon is going to be a Hasserus, which Hasserus can take a Brave Bird, I know, just from experience from my own Hasserus in the past. Uh, so all I have to do is just put a lot of damage onto this Hasserus as possible, and then we can revenge kill with my last Pokemon. So, unfortunately for me, yeah, we just come out real short again, and we're just going to go down to the Dragon Claw with a critical hit. Uh, 
the fact, okay, we're going to go into our Venusaur. We can definitely take a Dragon Claw minus the critical hit and hit him with some Surge Bombs. So that's it for now, guys. Hope you all enjoyed these three matches. And I will hopefully get back to posting more Wi-Fi battles for you guys. If you enjoyed this Wi-Fi battle, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I'll see you all next time. All right, goodbye, Terrence. Thank you.